guys. Today I have a Halloween haul from Once Upon a Child. I took both the boys into Once Upon a Child today. I was on a mission looking for Halloween clothes. I actually, a little bit of a story time, I actually this past Tuesday was having a little mommy day. My husband had my sons and our Once Upon a Child is so small. Like the store needs to be like three times the size it is. They have so many big kid items. It's really an awesome store. It's just so packed that it's hard to take my kids into. So I went this past Tuesday by myself and I was looking for Halloween clothes and I was thinking I was really in luck because the front window literally had like racks of Halloween clothes. A girl, one of the workers was pulling them out of totes and she was telling me they had even more totes. So I was so disappointed though because they were telling me the stuff wasn't in the system to be purchased until Friday, which is today. Friday. So I was so bummed, but I knew that I had to get back in there to get, you know, kind of first dibs on some things before it was picked through. Um, I always normally pay just full price or find things at yard sales or stuff for Halloween, but I thought that I really needed to check in there this year. Um, to see what I could find. I also wanted to look at the kids costumes. So I went in today with my boys and with my double stroller. The aisles are so small that you can't even pass somebody else. And their carts are too small to have both kids in there. And it's just too hectic to have my four year old running around by himself. There's like sections of books and toys and just too many distractions so it was a lot I was pushing the cart my stroller into the store and the door clipped the back of my foot and cut my foot and then it was just crazy the store was so busy people couldn't walk past each other I had to back out of one of the aisles for a lady to even get past me it was a lot. I put in a lot of work to get this Once Upon a Child haul. And I was so disappointed at first when I went to buy my stuff. I had only found one thing for Hayden. And I had gotten two toys, but only one clothing item, and that was a costume. And, um, sorry guys, I'm sitting with my legs crossed. Um, and so I was kind of disappointed I didn't find his size. Well, then when I was leaving, I saw that the older kids stuff was in a different section, kind of hidden that you couldn't see. And um, it went all the way from 5T to 10, to children's 10. So I was able to score Hayden a couple fines. Hayden is going into like a size six, even though he's four. Um, he kind of went into his 5Ts early, but they didn't have a lot of sixes like a different option so i think i got most of his stuff fives that looked roomy that still looked like they would fit him but enough of that let me get into it i just had to tell you guys that story time how is your once upon a child like mine needs to be about three times bigger than it is like they have strollers all this stuff in there and they can't even put it up to display it because the store is so small everything's like folded up it's like impossible to push a cart or stroller through the store it's really hard but i did get a little bag this time for being one of the first 30 customers of the day i got this reusable bag with a pack of crowns so i thought hayden could color that so I thought that was cool. That made cutting my foot on the door a little bit better. So yeah. So Hayden's stuff I think is mainly on top. So I'm going to show you some of his things. The first thing I got him was this Carter's 5T. This is a long sleeve shirt. I love the T-Rex and the pumpkin on that. This was only $3.50. I tried to stay with the 350 like 250 options because some of their stuff they're still asking like 550 for and the only reason I'm really going in there is just for the specialty clothes a lot of other stuff I find at yard sales and different things but um 350 I think's a good price some of the stuff that's 550 like you can find brand new for almost that price so I kind of held off on some of that but yeah, I've got, I thought this was cute. That's in a 5T. Then I think that this was probably a little girl's pajama set because it has that little, um, hi Sky. Can you say hi? It has kind of that special like little designed collar with a little bow, but I didn't think this necessarily had to be a little girl's set. Thank you, Sky. Um, 
this is also a carter's 5t it has some little cats on it in a little jack o lantern i think those are cute and i think the little pajama pants are so cute this guy's gonna lay in my lap so yeah i didn't think this necessarily looked like a girl thing and this was a more expensive item this was 450 but i thought for that um you couldn't buy that at target for 450 so i liked that um, now this, I actually got one of these in Jordan size. I got Jordan all 18 month stuff. I got this in Jordan size and then I saw it in Hayden section. This is like the Walmart brand way to celebrate Halloween. This is a 5T and says spooky squad. And I thought that was cute. That was only $2.50 so got that then i also this is in hayden size but i did see this in jordan size but i didn't get it in his size they could have matched though but this is a carter's 5t it says how to halloween scary teeth fake spiders jack-o-lantern all the candy and full moon with bats so i just thought that was a cute shirt um one toy that I got were these it's called a Mickey Mouse wooden lacing beads it's a Melissa and Doug toy and it was only $3.50 and basically you can you know put all these beads on these strings and it really helps with fine motor skills I just thought Hayden and Jordan would have a fun time doing this it's a little old for Jordan I think it's a three and up yeah but I thought Hayden would like to do it and then I can save it for Jordan so I thought that was a cool find. And then hold on one second, buddy. I got Jordan watching Clifford while I make this. Um, this is an 18 month Cat and Jack set. This was actually $6.50, but I actually bought this last year for my son and I'm hoping it still fits him. And I feel like it was like, 15 I don't know how many dollars at Target last year and so if it does fit my son they will have a matching set of this this is little skeleton pants little sweatpants and a matching hoodie that looks like a skeleton I remember having this on Hayden last year this was a little bit more like I said it was 650 but I thought it would be cool if they both could wear that and match no 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 babe because you could even trick or treat like if you went to a little trunk or treat and you didn't necessarily want to do like full out costumes you could even wear that because it looks like a full skeleton I'm gonna move you just a little sky um next thing Hayden got one book they had bookshelves of books it was crazy I would have loved to look at them more because I'm always looking for some of Hayden's favorite books he always is asking me for different ones new ones but I could not get close enough to the bookshelf with my stroller to even look so this was just one I saw where I could actually get to. He loves this whole There Was an Old Lady series. He has There Was an Old Lady That Swallowed a Fly. I think he has one like Sand or something, like a beach one. I think he has like a St. Patty's Day one. So this is There Was an Old Lady That Swallowed Some Snow. So he loves these. This was only $1.50. So that was his little treat for the day. Come to the side, Sky. Let me scoot her a minute. Okay, I got her to the side. Um, Hayden told me one day, I've been asking him what costume, what he wanted to dress like this year. He told me recently he wanted to be a bat for Halloween. And I found Jordan. I was like, oh, that would be really cute. Like, especially we could all like be like bats or wear something like bats. So when I was looking in Jordan's section, I actually had this same Cat and Jack Halloween costume in a newborn size. I think it was like a newborn size. I had it for Hayden when Hayden was born almost five years ago. I have a picture of Hayden in it. Then we had Jordan in it um, when he was born last year and have a picture of him in it. I found the same little bat costume, little outfit again in an 18 months. And this is just so nice. Like having a little baby and they're in a car seat, like you can't have a real bulky costume. We always go somewhere else to trick or treat. We don't trick or treat right at our house. And so, um, it, like you don't want them in a bulky costume or something you have to put on them later like this is something thin that I could like 
put around him if I was carrying him in my carrier or if he was in the stroller I could put a blanket around him put a jacket on even put something under this it's got these little bat wings and it buttons at the bottom I saw this and I immediately grabbed this this was 450 and just the memories with this so I thought oh good I have the bat costume for Jordan and Hayden I was asking him if he wanted to be a bat and he said yeah so I go back back to hate to the other like the bigger kids costume section I actually found a bat costume in Hayden's size there wasn't even that many costumes in his size and there was this so it was meant to be this is an H&M sizes four to six this was 750 but it is like a size five bat costume it's got the wings this it's like good and warm too it's like velour like a, almost like a track suit so it comes down like I could put um some like what are they called like the um, like the people call them like underwear like the long john long johns i think like underneath so basically this zips up it's like a one piece suit i could put some heavy stuff underneath he's got the bat wings and then the little hood i think is just so adorable <laughs> So I actually, what are the chances? The costumes last year, we got him an Elmo costume, I think at Spirit. And their costumes are not cheap. Last year, he picked out his own costume. I cannot believe out of the like 10 that they had in Hayden size that they actually had a bat. So it just, God wanted it that way. They are both going to be bats for Halloween. I'm so excited. He was so excited in the store. So now me and Devin will have to see if we can find like a little bat shirt or something. Um, so for Jordan, I never can resist little pants like this. I got these. These are Old Navy brand, sizes 18 to 24 months. These were $2.50, but they're little pumpkin pants. I thought that I could put these with just a black shirt or something, an orange shirt, and that would be a cute little outfit. Um, I also got, this is from the brand Chickpea. This is 18 months. Look at this little pajama set. That is so cute. I, I probably buy way too many pajamas. I can't resist. These were $3.50. So I'm not sure what brand the Chickpea brand is, but look how cute that is. So excited about that. Then here's Jordan's shirt in the 18 months. That was also $2.50. So him and Hayden will have a little matching Spooky Squad shirt. Um, hold on one second, honey. I'm almost done. Then this is also Old Navy in the 18 to 24 months brand. This was $2.50. Little long sleeve T-Rex trick-or-treating. I feel like Hayden has a shirt that looks like this too. So I thought they could kind of match with that one. Then this was an 18 months um, Carter shirt for $3.50. Boo Crew. I just thought that was so cute with the little ghosts. Then another shirt, 18 months. This was the little Walmart brand again, like the Celebrate Halloween. This one's for Jordan. This is $3.50. I wish that I could have found a couple. I feel like I got Jordan more things, but there just wasn't as much in Hayden's size. Um, this is also the Walmart brand. Hayden actually has this shirt from last year that I think will fit him again this year. So they will actually match with this one too. This was $2.50. And last thing for Jordan were these super flat, like um, super soft, like fleece pajamas. These are the brand Modern Kids. They were eight in an 18-month size. I just thought those were so cute. The softest little pants. I am obsessed with these. I'm going to wash up all this stuff and have it ready. These were $4.50. So, oh yeah, I have one more thing. I have one more toy in here. I grabbed this. I'm going to wipe this down. This is, how do you say this? Abiscus? Abis Ab I don't know how to say this word. Um, but this little thing that you slide, you can like count these. I thought Hayden would have a fun time counting these. He likes stuff like this. I thought also like Jordan just to work on his little 
motor skills could kind of slide all these. I just thought this was colorful and fun. I have a lot of like rainbow stuff in Jordan's room that I had for Hayden um, on his little, uh, like I have a little thing in Jordan's room that has little cubes in it that lays on its side. It's like a cubicle like little thing. And I have toys in there organized. And on the top, I have all of these really colorful, just, I love kids stuff that is really colorful. And so I just thought this would be something really fun. I can see Jordan liking to just fidget with this. Same with Hayden. Hayden could count them. I just thought that was cute. This was $3.50. So, guys, that was my haul. I can't tell you how much it all came to because I don't know where I put my other receipt. The second order that was Hayden's came to $14.74, and that was four items for him. So, I probably would have paid that for one at Target. I'm not sure where my other receipt is. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for being here.